Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 4 under the category Route Stability Criteria. And the problem is, by Route Stability Criterion, determine the stability of the system represented by the characteristic equation. So here the characteristic equation is given as like this. Comment on the location of the roots of the characteristic equation. First we have to tell whether the system is stable or not and the second thing is we have to find the location of roots in the S plane. Right. So the first step is we have to check whether all the powers are present in descending order. You see 4, 3, sorry 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and S to the power 0. Right. And the next step is we have to select here what is the, your highest power. Your highest power is 5 that is odd number. So the next thing we have to select the next odd number that is s to the power 5, s to the power 3 and s to the power 1. Similarly s to the power 4, s square and s to the power 0. Right. The next step is we are forming our route array. So here the maximum power is s to the power 5. So we have to start our array with s to the power 5 and we have to proceed till s to the power 0. Right. So regarding s to the power 5, write down the respect to odd coefficients here. Coefficient of s to the power 5 is 9 and s to the power 3 is 10 and s is minus 9. Right. And the next thing is s to the power 4. So coefficient of s to the power 4 is minus 20. And S square is minus 1. And finally S to the power 0 is minus 10. Right. So from the given characteristic equation we had formed two rows. And the remaining rows we have to find out. Right. So the next thing is S cube. So the procedure to find out the S cube is as usual you see minus 20 multiplied by 10 minus of minus 1 into 9. Divided by this corner element is minus 20. Right. So here you see I had written that one. Minus 20 into 10 minus minus 1 into 9 divided by minus 20. Right. So when you solve this we are getting you see minus 20 into 10 minus 200. 1 into 9 is 9. Here I am having minus sign. So minus into minus gives plus plus 9 the whole divided by minus 20 right so minus 200 plus 9 is minus 191 divided by minus 20 this minus minus cancels each other when you divide these two terms we are getting the number as 9.55 right so the first term is 9.55 in our s3 row right and we have to find our second term so how to find this term just you have to Forgot about this column and as usual that is 20 minus 20 into minus 9 you see here I had written the steps minus 20 into minus 9 minus of minus 10 into 9 divided by again this corner element minus 20 right. So when you solve this equation you will be having you see minus 20 into minus 9 minus into minus is plus so 20 into 9 is 180. Again 10 into 9 is that is minus 10 into 9 is minus 90. So minus 90 into minus gives plus 90 divided by minus 20. So when you solve this you are getting the answer as minus 13.5. So that forms our second element of our S cube row. Right. So the next step is we have to find our S square terms. So how to find our S square terms? The step is same. That is 9.55 multiplied by this minus 1 minus of minus 13.5 into minus 20 the whole divided by 9.55 right. This gives you the first element of your S square row. You see here I had written the steps right. Now the, the thing which I have told I had just written here. So when you solve you see. 9.55 into minus 1 gives minus 9.55 and here minus into minus becomes plus and that plus into minus becomes again minus right. So finally when you solve you are getting the 
value as minus 29.27 so I am again simplifying this that is I am rewriting since here I am having 7 I am writing the answer as minus 29.3 right so minus 29.3 is our first term of s square right next we are going to find the second term how to find the second term as usual just you leave this column 9.55 multiplied by minus 10 and minus 0 right because here that is no element so 0 into minus 20 divided by again here the corner element is 9.55 right hope you people understand this one so here you see I had written 9.55 multiplied by minus 10 minus of 0 again divided by 9.55 so finally the answer is when you solve you are getting the answer as minus 10 right so here the answer is minus 10 the next step is you are finding s1 how to find our s1 just minus 29.3 multiplied by minus 13.5 minus of minus 10 multiplied by 9.55 and the whole expression gets divided by minus 29.3 right so this is the expression when you solve these expressions when you solve these numbers we are getting the answer as minus 16.75 here again I am rounding off so minus 16.8 right so the first element is minus 16.8 so what about the second element again hide this column you see there is no numbers here so everything is zero right so we are not solving here it is 0 so we are simply leaving here and finally the last thing is s to the power 0 so how to find out again minus 16.8 multiplied by minus 10 right minus 16.8 multiplied by minus 10 minus 0 into minus 29.3 divided by again the corner element is minus 16.8 right you see here I had written the steps so when you solve finally you see these two terms cancel each other and the final answer is minus 10 right you see minus 10 here again there are no elements present here so there are no second element in these two rows right so when you finally look out this look at this route array look at the column number one okay this is our column number one right now observe the sign changes here you see initially we are having plus 9 then it is get modified as minus 20 then from minus 20 again it gets changed as plus 9.55 and from 9.55 again minus 29.3 right now we are going to find out how many sign changes are that you see from plus to minus this is a sign change and again from minus to plus is the another sign change and from plus to minus is the another sign change so totally how many sign changes there are three sign changes right so tell me whether the system is stable or not whenever there is a sign change even when there is a single sign change then the system is said to be unstable therefore the given system is unstable and the next thing is we have to comment on the location of the roots right so here how many sign changes are there there are three sign changes so how many roots are possible for this given characteristic equation the maximum power is five right so totally there are five roots possible among these five roots the, since there are three sign changes three roots lie on the right hand side of the s plane right and the remaining two roots will lie on the left hand side of the s plane right Hope you people understand this problem. Thank you.